Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new ice for soldering pixie. And last time we received the scout badge. And now we are going to the collection because we remember there is the scout stuff, the scout chest. And I think we can get it now because we've got the scout badge. So, let's take hey, it. Hey, don't touch it. That's my old boy scout. Yeah. No. Okay, here, scout badge, old man. <laughs> but that's... That's the Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon? I had no idea I was talking to a genuine scout. I was a boy scout once, you know. <laughs> well, knock me over with a... With, uh, with my things over there. They're lying in that chest, you know. Because among scouts, there's no such thing as ownership and... And... Yeah, I fall asleep, old man. <laughs> okay, um... Scout chest. Ooh, Scout's Knife. Oh, that was it? Well. But, a musket. Nice. Um, well. Well. Okay. And now I have no idea. Apparently we have to shoot someone, but... I can remember something, but... I like kind of. Um, what can we shoot? Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed Lily. Uh, what can we shoot? But we can give Doris the knife. Maybe she gives us something. Doris, here's a knife. What do you have there? Is that my knife? Uh-huh. It's just unbelievable that a little brat like you is running around with a knife. Let me tell you, the youth of today are as rotten as next week's canned goulash. I don't <laughs> know how much damage a knife like that can do. Uh-uh. Should I show you? Uh-uh. You see? So hand it over before you hurt someone. Unbelievable. A little girl with a knife. So irresponsible. Here, take this chainsaw instead. Now that I have <laughs> that, I won't need it anymore. What? <laughs> Lily wasn't going to do anything silly with the chainsaw. As a responsible girl, she knew that one shouldn't simply start sawing. She would wait until night when she wouldn't bother anyone. Oh my god. Okay, we've got a chainsaw, an empty chainsaw. Jar of alcohol. Jar of alcohol and Lily chainsaw. had a brilliant idea. High proof alcohol was an excellent fuel substitute for the gasoline chainsaw. Mother Superior would really be proud of her. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> a knife is dangerous. Take the chainsaw instead. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is killing me. Yeah, let's go to the school pond. And to the backyard. Yeah, um... Hmm. Um, Suka, well... Got a problem now. Done. <laughs> Done. Lily had finished all of Edna's jobs and had gotten rid of all of the evidence. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Lily, thank God. I have a new and much more serious problem. I can't find my diary anywhere. And all my escape plans are written in it. I even drew a map where I marked my hiding place. So forget about getting rid of the evidence. Oh, great. Mm. No, no, just forget it. <sighs> 
wasn't important anyway. The diary now has top priority. Please, help me look for it. If Mother Superior gets her hands on it, I'm done for. It has to be somewhere around here. Of course, Lily immediately knew what to do. <clears throat> she immediately knew what to do. Oh, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they have to do a block of wood. Um... Well, let's go. Let's go back to Suka. Was that really so oh. hard? The diary was lying right there, or hanging rather. The telltale drawings were dangling from the claw of a dumb, gawking pigeon. Pigeon. Lily thought it would be a good idea to first wait and watch the pigeon for a while. She accepted the risk that the bird might fly off at any moment. Great. Pigeon. The oh, moment Lily it. tried to grab the diary, the pigeon rose in the air. Oh. And carried it to the roof of the convent, where it disappeared in the rafters above Mother Superior's office. Oh, damn it. Huh. Gawking certainly wasn't going to help. <gasps> Once again. Lily's path led her back towards the lion's den. Okay, then let's go to the office. Isn't she there now? Hmm. We will see. Um, yeah. Let's go upstairs. And to the gallery. Maybe it's there somewhere. Finally! There you are! Lumpy starving! Did you get the cat food? Uh-uh. What?! And then you dare return here?! Off <sighs> you! Out! 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 <laughs> oh, how I loathe these ch ch children Where is the pigeon? I can't see it anywhere. Oh, well. Okay, we need to get the cat food first. Um, hmm... Good idea. I mean, this fat boy is so hardcore. He probably wants to shoot something, like Nelson in some Simpson episode. Or yeah, Bart shot it, but well, you know what I mean. Here, take the weapon. Johnny didn't seem to. Lily what? had to find and shoot the sparrows. Lily would have liked to show Shawnee that she was certainly tough enough to shoot at sparrows. But unfortunately, her musket wasn't loaded. Oh, okay. Um, marbles. Hooray! The marbles were the perfect ammunition for the musket. <laughs> I knew it. Now let's shoot them. Or shoot him? No, oh, shoot the sparrows. I mean today. the sparrows, but her effect on Shawnee was apparent. He actually seemed a little impressed. He seemed afraid. Eagle carcass. A nice animal. So proud. Such shiny feathers. Hopefully Lily would have time to play with it later. Oh my god. Hey, Shawnee. Shawnee seemed if Lily wanted to get the recipe back, she would have to find a way to calm him down. Hey, Shawnee. Shawnee seemed very. Lily preferred not to talk to him, and she didn't want to risk him pulling out her braids. But she also needed the recipe. Oh. What could she do to get a nasty boy like Shawnee to calm down? What could I do? Here, cigarettes. Lily had heard that cigarettes were supposed to have a <laughs> soothing effect. <laughs> Hooray! Uh. What a great job Lily had done. Shawnee seemed to feel much better already. You can tell by the way his pupils were slowly rotating towards the inside. Yeah. 
Shawnee wasn't responsive. The cigarettes had made him indifferent. Hmm. Okay. Let's come back. Now. To the well again. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, Shawnee. Oh, Shawnee cigarette. dropped a cigarette. Apparently his mouth was too full. Take the cigarette. But where's the recipe? Recipe? Somewhere? Oh. Hmm. Oh, I have a no. Nice. Meep. Meep. Meep, meep. Okay, um, we've got a recipe. We already gave the doors to... Uh, but, ah, uh, I know what to do. I know what to do. We still have to switch the stove on, so... I think we can try that with the firecrackers. Can we combine the burning cigarette? Lily remembered the rules of the convent school very you were only allowed to use something like that. Oh, okay. Come on, let's put him in this time. There were those voices again, ordering Lily to burn her stuff. Again, Lily resisted the temptation of obeying them. Huh. How can we switch the stove on for burning the cigarettes? The stove was black and empty. The cigarette alone wouldn't be enough to get the stove running again. Yes, that's why I... Oh, wait. Lily knew from experience that it wasn't a good idea to start a fire in your pocket. Especially when it wasn't in your own pocket. One. Nice. Lily placed the log in the stove. Now she just had to light it. With the cigarette. Great! Okay, the stove is on, so let's go to Doris with her angel's voice. So, Doris. You again? You shouldn't be wandering this trip, and I. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um. The cat. You're starting to get a meal time, and it's long, so there's nothing unless you have mother. Yes, I oh, have the recipe. You have the recipe? Uh huh. Well then, let me see it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I can manage that. Duck roast for lumpy. Good choice. <laughs> All rolls. I need is the canned food from Mother Superior's meal from the cellar. Oh, great. Um, you don't have to say anything. I already noticed that the stove is working again. Unfortunately, I still can't start cooking. As long as I don't have the canned food. <laughs> okay. Then we can go back to the cellar. Mm, yeah, well. She should have said that to us before, a bit earlier, but well. So, let's go into the cellar again. And take the can of food. This had to be the canned food Doris was talking about. Lily selected pigeon flavor. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, I don't know how pigeon taste, but still, uh. <laughs> Already two dead people here. Oh, that. So, into the cafeteria again to bring doors there canned food. So, Doris. Ah, you found the canned food. Uh-huh. Very good. 
I guess that means I can start cooking the meal now. I'll put the roast for the cat in the dumbwaiter right away. But I won't be able to fit anything else in there. I can't send Mother Superior's food up until you put the empty plate back in the dumbwaiter. Got it? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's just hope so. How nice she is. Um, yeah, let's go to Mother Superior and tell her that we... Or that Doris is going to make the food. But we can do that in the next episode. So see you then. Bye bye.